Welcome to the Stage 8 Review. In Stage 8, we meet the accusative plural of the first, second, and third declensions, and we learn about the superlative degree of adjectives. By the end of Stage 8, you should know the new endings for the accusative plural of first, second, and third declension nouns, and be able to fill out the following charts for these nouns. First, the first declension. Okay, so here's the part we already knew how to do. Okay, pue la, pue lam accusative, pue lai nominative plural, and now pue las accusative plural. Second declension, we already knew Servus, nominative singular, servum, accusative singular, servi, nominative plural. Now we have servos, accusative plural. Third declension. Remember, the nominative singular of a third declension noun can look like really anything. But our model noun is leo. So leo, nominative singular, leonem, accusative singular. There's the stem, leon, that we're going to use in all the cases besides the nominative. Leones, nominative plural, and leones, accusative plural. In the third declension, the nominative and accusative plurals look just alike. So you're going to need to use context and maybe word order when you see a form like leones to decide whether it's nominative or accusative in that sentence. You should also be able to recognize superlative adjectives and to know to translate them as blankest, most blank, or very blank. So here's the degrees of adjectives. Positive degree, that's just the regular old adjective, like lightus, happy, felix, lucky, now we know the superlative degree, lightissimus, very happy, most happy, felicissimus, very lucky, most lucky, luckiest. Note that these superlative adjectives have this ism in the middle. And that's true of most regular superlative adjectives. And as always, you should know all the words in the vocab checklist, both from Latin to English and from English to Latin. Don't forget that we have the Quizlet lists there to help you with that.